Hi, uh, this is Dr. Yusuf presenting to you the, uh, some tricks about the use of the Mali Eagle Rings to manage small pupils. I'll present three cases that I did this week. Uh, this is the first case. Um, you can see that he had peripheral edectomy severely because uh, he has a shallow chamber and uh, a chronic uh, annual portugal coma. Uh, I injected uh, the xylocaine in the coat. And this is the paracentesis just going through the steps and I'm putting in the foot on the surface of the cornea. So the uh, I skipped uh, engaging the, the t nasal uh, um, scroll and then I tried to engage the two superior and inferior scrolls. If you get two, two of them one good knot, just uh, get one of them in and uh, manage the rest with the, with the manipulator. This is a Lester hook. I engage the sub one first and go through the 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 more difficult ones after that so you start with the more difficult ones and then leave the easy ones which is the usually the nasal one to the end so uh this well centered and uh you i'll inject a little bit more in the coat again because some of it was lost and the, at the beginning when i feel the chamber when i'm planning to use the maligon ring I don't feel the chamber 100% at the beginning because otherwise it can make it difficult for you. Uh, so these are the regular steps for FACO, uh, removing the nucleus with using chopping technique. I'm just going to speed through this. When you fill the chamber with endocode at the beginning, uh, try to leave some under the iris slightly so that you can uh, have a space to engage the, the scroll rather than compressing the uh, uh, the scroll again, the iris against the, the lens. So now I implanted the lens. I use the Lester hook to implant and explant those. So first one I'll disengage is the one on the right, and then I'll get into the bar between the uh, the temporal and this the left scroll, and push it away so that it can get the uh, the subincisional one away, and then I bring the superior one, the one on the left. Uh, into the incision. If the chamber is shallow, just, uh, this is some uh, into the coat or, or helon. Just create more space so that you don't injure the cornea. And you engage and get the, that temporal scroll into the hub of the injector and just remove it. It's very easy to implant and explant. And uh, this is my best, my best way to manage small pupils. Uh, uh, for for years now actually works great. This is the just the moxifloxacin injection tiring the one. This is the second case. Well, this will, was a little bit different uh, because the this cornea, if you notice here, it's smaller than the the usual. This is a 13 uh, millimeter gauge. So the cor this cornea is about 10 or less than 10 millimeters. I have noticed that at that time. Uh, but I realized that at the end of the, the surgery when I tried to move the malignant ring. So again, so I'll engage the, the nasal and I'll try to engage the right and left ones. If they will, if they engage well and good, if they don't, that's fine. You can go in with the left and, and engage them. But I'll engage the sub incisional one first because it's more difficult and leave the whatever is left to the end. You do the, the more difficult ones first. And after I implant the le the Maligon ring, I will refill the, the chamber in the in the coat so that it's completely full, and you can complete the surgery. In these cases, I don't mark the cornea because it's already have a marker in there. The, this Maligon ring is 7.25 millimeters, so you can just leave one millimeter and it gives you five millimeter access. J K and you know, the routine cataract here, just speeding through it planting the lens and for this I use the Lester again I will disengage the one on the right and I'll go to the bar between the sub incisional and the one on the left and push it away and get the uh, the, the left one after that so I'm trying to put the temporal scroll close to the wound so I can engage it with the injector but whenever I try to do that, I, it, it's it's in the subincisional area. It's not it's not a, a little bit further away from the incision, so I cannot engage it that way. So I try to put it to one side, 
so that I can engage it, but it's not easy. It's not engaging. I saw a trick in one of the conferences that uh, I can't remember who presented at that time that it's easy to cut the ring and move it. So I thought, okay, well, let's let, let's try that. So I'll position the Malian ring so that I can actually cut it with a Viscot scissors or I can ask for a Viscot. Uh, put, at that time, you can put one of the bars close to the incision. doesn't matter which bar is it. Uh, so just put one of the bars and go with the Viscot scissor or the scissors and cut that bar. And with uh, this is my fierce and forceps that's coming next. I'll I'll pull the ring out. You you roll it out, and it was very easy. So it was one of the tricks I saw in one of the conferences. At, and at that time, I thought, okay, I, I remove it easy with no problems with the with my way. So I don't didn't think I would need that trick, but found it very useful to this. Uh, so thank thank you very much for ever presenting at that time. I showed me that trick. This is the third case. Again, these are done the same day. It's my my way to manage small pupils. This is uh, xylocaine with epinephrine, endocode, and I put some on the cornea. Paracentesis. And so again, I'll try to engage the temporal, the nasal one and engage the upper and lower ones. If they do engage well, good. If not, just leave them. And uh, with the lesser, I will engage the temporal scroll first because it, the subincision is the most difficult one to, to engage. And go from the more difficult to the easier. I'll leave the nasal one to the end if it's not done at the beginning. Refill the chamber. And fill it completely with the this glass and remember you have to, to put it peripherally not just centrally you have to compress the iris and the ring on into the the, the lens because otherwise especially if it's a floppy iris you'll find that the ring and the iris are all jumping all through the surgery if you don't do that so put viscoelastic on top of the iris and the ring preferably to push it against the lens then just routine cataract J cannula, cultural cleanup, Elon, lens, and then I'll remove the, the ring again. I'll remove the right one first, and then from the bar I get between the, the superior and temporal one, I will remove the sub incisional ring, and then I'll drag the left last one so that I put the one that was superiorly into the area of the incision so I can engage it with the with the injector and it removes very easily. Uh, so these are my tricks for implanting and explanting the, the Malayugan ring and I showed you the one that we needed to cut uh, the ring which is uh, was a nice trick that I learned at one of the conferences. Again, thank you very much for whoever taught me that. I can't remember who. So thank you very much and thank you for watching.